Hello everyone. In this video, I will be discussing learning objective 3 of week 10, multiple discriminant analysis. So, you know that we are discussing different dependence and independence technique. And this multiple discriminant analysis is also a dependence technique like the multiple regression analysis. So, multiple discriminant analysis is a dependence technique means you will be using it if you have multiple variables and at least one of the variable is dependent. Okay, if one of the at least one of the variables is dependent, then you will use this multiple discriminant analysis. Now, what's the difference between multiple regression and multiple discriminant analysis? Multiple regression is a dependent te dependence technique. Multiple discriminant analysis is also a dependence technique. So if you have multiple variables and at least one of the variables is dependent, you can use multiple regression or discriminant analysis. However, the main difference is multiple regression will be used if your dependent variable is metric variable, whereas discriminant analysis will be used if your dependent variable is non-metric variable. Okay, so again I say multiple regression will be used if your dependent variable is metric means interval or ratio scale variable, but discriminant analysis will be used if your dependent variable is non-metric, for example, nominal. So if your dependent variable is a categorical variable or taking a value of like 0, 1, 0, 1, then you will be using discriminant analysis. But the idea uh, of discriminant analysis is mostly the same as we learned in regression analysis. So in the discriminant analysis, our dependent variable will actually represent one or more, uh, I'm sorry, two or more mutually exclusive group. And we will have different independent variables. So we will uh, check that the, which uh, variable actually determines uh, a particular observation to belong um, in a particular mutually exclusive group. Okay, let me give you an example. Let's say that um, an analysis was conducted where a recruitment test was done. In the recruitment test, a number of people have um, a seat for the test and they were judged against three variables. One is their age, another is uh, a score on sales aptitude test, and also their mechanical ability. So let's say that, um, that these are the three variables they were, they were tested. One, again, I say age, um, another is sales aptitude test score, and last of all is mechanical ability. Now, based on these three, the final outcome is either the, uh, a particular candidate is successful or unsuccessful, okay? So your dependent variable will take uh, a nominal characteristics like let's say one means successful and zero means unsuccessful. X1 will be age, X2 will be sales aptitude score, and uh, X3 will be mechanical ability. Now, if you run a discriminant analysis, so what you will actually be finding out that which variable, is it the age or sales aptitude test score or mechanical ability of which variable actually contributing a candidate to belong to a successful group or unsuccessful group? Is my point clear? Again, I said, if you run this test with x1, x2, x3 variable and your dependent variable is only successful or unsuccessful, so you will be looking at which variable is significantly contributing for a candidate to belong to one of these two mutually exclusive groups. So that's the end of our discussion on uh, discriminant analysis. Just to provide you a summary that we have discussed two dependence technique. One is multiple regression, another is discriminant analysis. Multiple regression was discussed in the last video. So the summary is both of them will be used if you have one dependent variables and if you have two or more independent variables. Okay, but the difference is type of measurement. Your dependent variable for multiple regression has to be interval or ratio whereas for discriminant it has to be nominal but uh, your independent variables can take um, any form when you uh, use either multiple regression or discriminant analysis 
So this is the end of this video. So please see the next one for our discussion on learning objective 4. Thank you.